Okay, let's do a factor reset for this Coolpad uh, Legacy from Boost Mobile. And I'm going to show you three ways or three steps, three different kind of uh, reset. Uh, but mainly it's a factor reset if you're looking to delete all the information uh, in your phone's mem internal memory and external memory card if you want to just uh, wipe, uh, wipe it down, everything on your phone's uh, internal memory card. And also uh, if you are struggling with... Um, connection with your internet or problem with Wi-Fi, Bluetooth uh, or you just, just want to uh, refresh your uh, day, your settings, your data settings. So let's go to menu, let's go to settings and uh, open, okay on settings let's go to all, way, all the way down and find system, okay system and then let's go and uh, search the advanced okay and backup it is important that you know your uh, google account on your backup option you're gonna see your uh, google account associated with the phone it's important that you know your password because you are, you are doing a factory reset um you need this information okay and if you are just trying to refresh your uh, data uh, wi-fi or bluetooth uh, you don't have to worry about um, um, the Google because anything on your phone is going to be deleted, okay? Anything like videos, pictures, contacts, uh, web history, everything is going to remain the same. Um, but uh, factor reset, is just, yeah, you have to worry about that because everything is going to be deleted. And make sure that you do a backup on your phone before performing a factory reset. Okay, so uh, and, and I highly recommend you to go to any computer, tablet, and enter or log in with your Google account to make sure that the password is uh, correct, is, is the one associated with the account because I have subscribers on my channel saying that they are for sure that the password it is the one associated with the email but <clears throat> once they, they confirm verify Google after the factory reset um, it doesn't match, it doesn't, doesn't accept so uh, make sure that you have the correct password. All right, so let's go and uh, hit the reset options. And uh, like I said before, reset Wi-Fi, mobile, and Bluetooth. Um, <clears throat> that's and that's that's the one that you you need to do for your um, uh, refresh your data in case that your internet is slow or uh, it doesn't show the LTE or things like that. Okay, so just uh, reset the, at the bottom. And also uh, Wi-Fi if you struggle connecting Wi-Fi or um, and by doing that, uh, after the reset, you actually have to enter the Wi-Fi password again, as well as the Bluetooth as well. Okay, um, you need to register Bluetooth again to every device that you have registered on your phone. So uh, that's the one. The second one: res reset app preferences. Only if you do a couple changes on let's say that on your call application or messaging application you have any signature any any changes personal changes that you did uh, that's the one they're gonna be uh, delete or change they're gonna reset to the to the original uh, settings okay so but you can go back and and reset the same settings okay the third one is the one they're gonna do right now they're gonna show here erase uh, this is the one that is going to be delete everything on your phone. So it's important that you know your Google account. Like I said before, and, and, and do perform a backup. So everything on your videos, uh, pictures, contacts, um, you, you will be able to upload it to your Google photos and Google contacts. I have a video, a tutorial on how to do this factor reset. So if you need help with this, just um, I'm gonna try to leave um, the link on the this video description. So just go open it and follow the steps, or you can check and uh, take a look how to do it. All right, so um, let's go and hit the reset phone. Uh, if you have a password, pattern, or pin, they're gonna ask you to very confirm, and then you're gonna see this option erase everything. Okay, once you touch erase everything. Uh, you won't be able to go back so make sure that this is uh, you're ready and this is what you need to do all right so you're gonna touch, touch erase everything and with the phone will um, re reset or reboot <coughs> okay so just gonna keep a few a few minutes here 
uh, it's gonna see recovery and then <laughs> okay so we are there you go so we are on the screen um initial setups i mean uh we, we took a few minutes in case just in case uh, your phone gets stuck on the cool pad logo and doesn't uh, take you to the main screen or initial setup screen i <clears throat> i will um recommend you to long press the power key to power out the phone and since we won't be able to go back to settings to uh, perform another factory reset that's when we have to do a hard reset so we want to leave another link on the phone description or phone's comment section so you can open that link to do a factory reset uh, on your phone where when you are not able to access to the phone settings and and also that applies to if your phone has a lock screen and you forgot your password pattern or pin then you also can do a factory reset with external keys okay so uh, just uh, follow the steps of that uh, video and we're gonna do another factory reset with um, the buttons of the phone <clears throat> okay um, the thing is that sometimes um, we don't restart our phone at least three times a month and so many game applications or music applications or so many web history and cookies uh, stay uh, st uh, stored on the motherboard and since we don't uh, reboot it that's when uh, the motherboard gets gets stuck and it doesn't work properly that's why you experience some drop calls and and um, your phone get frizzed or just turn off itself and that's the need to, we need to calibrate Before the motherboard so make sure I do a factory reset all right